Hey guys, it's Kaylee. We're doing another deep dive of brands you frequently come across. I have been collecting all of you guys' comments on brands that you want me to deep dive, and today we are doing Zara. All right, so we're going to be doing Zara. I'm just going to search Zara in general. Now, Zara makes um, many different things. Um, I'm going to filter to the clothing, shoes, and accessories category because they make men's women's and kids um, but we do want to filter out any like jewelry health and beauty items and things like that so i am just going to filter to the clothing shoes and accessories you can see there are a ton of results for zara 390,000 plus results in the available category let's go down to sold just in general to see where zara is landing there are 70,000 sold results for Zara, not the greatest sell-through rate for the brand as a whole. Um, in general, this brand is pretty oversaturated and we need to narrow down and figure out what pieces are actually worth getting. Uh, so I got my notebook here beside me. I'll be taking some notes along the way and then we'll do some double checking on some sell-through rate. Keeping in mind that we are currently in the middle of winter, people are starting to buy spring stuff, but I think a lot of what we are going to see in the past 90 day solds are going to be a lot of winter stuff. So we'll just have to keep that in mind as we go through um, and maybe do this search again in the middle of summer. So I am going to filter a couple of things. I'm going to filter to pre-owned just because most of us are going to be finding stuff pre-owned at thrift stores. And I'm also going to filter to US only um, because, again, most of us are um, seeing these things in the US thrift stores. I know I have some viewers that are international. Um, however, I feel like the same items will be popular in those countries as well. So I'm going to filter to US just because it gives me a better understanding for a majority of my viewers. All right. So before we dive into any other filters, I would like to go to the more filters section to see if we can determine if any particular sizes, colors, or materials are doing better than others. Let's actually go to department first. So you can see um, there's some different things here. I guess maybe men's is not a department that you can pick because they do have some men's items as well. All right, size. Looks like size 10 is pretty popular. Size 2 is very popular. Size 6, size 4. So it looks like a pretty good range of stuff. I don't really see anything specifically standing out. Let's go to color. Color, we have uh, the neutrals per usual plus plus blue, and then multicolor is a big contributor as well to the sold results, so that's really great. Uh, let's go to material and see if anything stands out. Cotton is a big one. Linen. Cotton blend. And viscous. All right, I feel like that's a pretty good understanding of those. Sometimes I just like to look at those because some things do specifically stand out. Now I'm going to filter a minimum sale price. That way we can filter out all the lower selling stuff and only focus on the bolos in this brand. Um, I am going to pick $35 as a minimum just to filter out a lot of things. And then we can focus on what is selling for the most amount. So let's filter to $35. So just as a recap, we are in the sold listings, we are in pre-owned, uh, we are doing US only, and we are over $35. And we are just going to start from here. And I'm going to scroll through and see if there is anything that keeps coming up in the sold results um, in the higher ASP category, and we'll write them down. And then we'll do some checks on sell-through rates just to verify what we are learning. So let's get started. So I see some jackets. Here is a set. Some jeans, kind of flare leg. I'll just take note of that. Longer length dress, a jacket, another jacket, another jacket. 
pink I know is a really uh, popular color. Some Barbie core stuff here. Some sweaters. More dresses, more jackets. I'm seeing a lot of blazers, so I'm gonna go ahead and write down blazer. Here's a Zara man item, a suit. More dresses. We'll have to see if we can kind of narrow down what types of dresses. Here's a midi puff sleeve dress. Here's a pair of men's skinny jeans. Here's a men's linen blazer. So I guess I'll make a note of men's and women's on that blazer note. Some boots, actually a couple boots here, and a long length coat. Here's a maxi dress. Here's another set. Another longer length coat, another set. I'm gonna write down set. Here's some more boots, I'm gonna write down boots. Seeing a lot of faux leather as well. All right, I've seen a lot of midi and maxi length dresses, so I'm gonna write that down. There's a really nice sweater. Boho dress, longer length dress. There's a boy suit, more boots. More wide leg jeans. I'm gonna go to the second page. Here's another blazer jacket. Seen a couple of men's jackets, so I'm gonna go ahead and write that down. Here's another set. Another men's jacket. Another long length dress some distressed straight leg jeans, some wide leg, I'm gonna write down wide leg jeans, more longer length dresses, we do have some like jackets and coats I've seen so I'm gonna write that down although I do think we're going out of that season but we can still take a look, longer length dresses, Coats and jackets. There's a handbag. More faux leather. Another. There's another coat. I've seen quite a few sweaters, so I'm going to write that down and we can check again, possibly going out of season. Jumpsuits. There's some more wide leg pants. Huh, I didn't know Zara and Clark's had a collaboration. Zara does do a couple of collaborations sometimes. There's men's coats. There's some more wide leg kind of baggy style jeans. More boots, more long length dresses, another sweater, oh that's super cute. Alright, going on to the third page here, more men's jackets. I've seen these sock boots a couple times, so I'm just going to make a note. I already made a note of boots, but I'm right, sock boots. More sweaters, blazers. There's another handbag. Maybe I'll write that down. Another set. There's another leather item. I'm just going to write leather and we can search that and it can be faux leather or real leather. There's 
another kind of like sock boot. Another one. All right, so we're at the end of page three. We've gone back now a few days and let's just for fun go to the highest price that has sold. Kind of study uh, what it is that are the like true bolos in this. So we've got a really gorgeous kind of embroidered long length coat. That'd be something I'd look at in any brand. Uh, real leather jackets, leather boots, this is something I did know about Zara. They have a lot of as seen on stuff. Let me actually write that down. So this is as seen on Blair Waldorf from Gossip Girl. Uh, wool coats, like the dressier kind. Here's another leather jacket, leather jacket, faux fur. They also do a lot of blogger fave stuff. Um, they become really trendy on blog sites. I'll write that down. There's another like pink item. I would say Zara pink stuff definitely adds some value. Real leather, here's a limited edition. There's another kind of like longer length kimono coat, another one. There's another like wool women's dressy coat. Here's a Zara men's pea coat. Here's an as seen on Kate Middleton. So again with the as seen on seems to be a very popular sweater. There's another blogger favorite. There's another fur coat. I'm going to write that down. All right, I'm going to stop here. So I got quite a few things written down actually for Zara. Um, this is actually going a lot better than I thought it would for this brand. So let's do some deep dives now into some of the stuff that we've written down and check the sell through rates on them. So let's go through these things I have written down. First of all, the blogger favorites. With the listings that have the blogger favorite, there are 1500 plus results. Let's go ahead and go to sold. 335 so definitely not a super high sell through rate but definitely some stuff um, that I think is worth looking after so if you look up a specific style and you notice that it is a blogger favorite to definitely um, do the research because there are some stuff like this one right here um, that sell for quite a bit and of course if you do have a blogger favorite to put that in your title okay next Zara as seen on 603 results, see a lot of Kate Middleton here. And 218, not a bad sell through rate. That's about a, I don't know, like a 30% sell through rate. Um, but definitely stuff to be on the lookout for if it was worn on celebrities, which you'll only know by doing a Google lens um, or a style number search, with, which they usually have on their inside tags. One thing I also noticed were sets. So I'm just going to put Zara set. 3,000 available results. 738. So again, that's about a 30% sell through rate. Not amazing, but it does look like some are selling uh, for quite a bit. So worth looking into, I think, if you find a matching set. Again, I think it's very style specific, so it would have to be a very particular style that you would have to look up the style for. All right, next I saw that Zara blazers were performing well. I'm going to start with women's. 14,000 available results. 4,000. Again, not the best sell through rate, a little under a 30% sell through rate, but definitely some that can perform well. And I wonder if the size would even change that a little bit. So let's try like a blazer size large. So I'm just going to filter to large. 
1,700 results, 731. So you can see it's starting to go up a little bit on the sell-through rate. Let's try extra large. Five hundred thirty-two in the extra large blazers. Four hundred fifteen. So getting close to a one hundred percent sulfur rate. So larger size women's blazers are definitely performing well. So that is a bolo we can certainly look for. All right, now we are going to try the men's blazers, which have eleven hundred available results. 392, that's probably about a 40-ish percent sell rate, which is not bad. Um, but again, not something I would just get on a whim. It would have to have some factor stacking and I'd have to do some very specific comps for the men's blazers. Another thing we saw were Zara boots and I'm gonna go to women's first. There are 4,400 available results. 840, not the best sell-through rate, although depending on what you have, I think it could be worth getting. One frequent type of boot I saw was sock boots, so I'm gonna look that up. 323 results. 92, again, about a 30%, not the best sell-through rate, but some of them are going for quite a bit, specifically the black ones. And I'm gonna look up men's boots. Actually I had to do a little filtering there to get to it. So Zara men's boots, 241 available. 93, so again, not the best sell through rate, but definitely some that could perform well. In general, I think for boots, unless it is a pair of women's sock boots, I'm probably not even gonna look it up. All right, next up are midi and maxi length dresses. I'm just gonna do a maxi dress. 9,700 plus available results. Only 1,800, although keeping in mind that we are in the middle of winter right now, so I do expect that to go up. I personally, if I find a Zara midi or maxi length dress, do look it up because some of the styles are those blogger favorites and can perform really well. Another thing I saw were coats and jackets. Zara coats, I'm just gonna go ahead and look up. 6,000 available results. 1,600 plus results, not the best, but you can see some of them are selling for quite a bit. So I'm gonna try to narrow down uh, this jacket a little bit. Let's do leather jacket and we'll just leave it men's and women's. 1600 results, 479, not the best sell through rate. So probably not something um, I would be on the hunt for unless it was really unique like a moto jacket. We also saw a couple of fur coats. So I'm gonna look that up. 565 available results, 177, not a terrible sell through rate, and it looks like they are selling for quite a bit, so I would personally keep my eye out for these faux fur coats in Zara. Next up, we saw a lot of sweaters. 13,000 available results, 2600 plus that is not a great sell through rate so for me unless it had some great materials or it was super unique i would probably just pass on it also saw a lot of wide leg jeans so let's look those up 1000 available results for zara wide leg jeans 435 results so that's actually not bad for women's jeans um, but again, you'd have to be pretty specific on the ones that you're getting. It looks like they are the more like super wide leg baggy looking. Uh, we can actually see if baggy affects our search. 64 available, 
25 so about the same so these are a wide leg baggy looking jeans are definitely where it's at again they're not 100% sell through rate but they might be worth getting and the very last thing that I wrote down was just a Zara handbag I saw a couple of those so let's take a look 1800 plus results 236 results so womp womp not the best all right, so for Zara, I have the blogger favorites, the as seen on TV. These are both gonna be very specific to the style. So I do think it would be important to snap a picture and put it in Google Lens or look up the style name. I don't normally look up dresses unless they do seem a little bit more substantial. Um, they are longer midi to maxi length. The blazers definitely seem to have a lot of value. So if I found a nice uh, blazer, particularly in the women's larger sizes, I would definitely be looking that up. Some of the sets, if they were more unique, seem to sell pretty well. There were some both men's and women's jackets that were performing well, specifically the like wool dressier looking ones. Wide leg and baggy jeans. And then lastly, the sock boots, which still didn't have the best sell-through rate, although I have sold them in the past for quite a bit of money. So if I come across them, I'm going to be looking them up. If you guys have any Zara items that you sell on a regular basis and you want to share them down below, please feel free to leave a comment. All right, guys, so that's it on the Zara deep dive. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. If you guys are able to frequently sell something in Zara, drop it in the comments down below. And if you guys have any suggestions on brands that you frequently come across that you want me to deep dive, then put those in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.